She looked lovely in a beautiful flowered blue dress. She was not only beautiful, but her long black hair was an envy for many women. Today she held her hair in a cute ponytail with a matching blue band. Kate was well up. She had a great career and at 29 she had done better than her peers. She practically grew up in church and she believed God had a hand in her success. She walked in the church graciously, looking for a seat near the door to avoid being seen by so many people. But the usher was so quick to show and direct her to a seat near the front. As she walked, she could see people staring at her. She could feel the stairs pricking her now visible baby bum. Unconsciously, she touched her belly. It's okay, baby. God will make it okay for us. Hold on, sweetie. I'll pray for both of us. She whispered under her breath as she took her seat. Just as she sat down, Mama Kim, a very vocal missionary leader in the church, stretched her hand to greet her. Kate, I have been wondering why I don't see you in the praise team. I can see you've been busy. Mama Kim whispered while pretending to listen to the leader of the service. Kate felt like she had listened to her for eternity. And when the leader called everyone to stand for a time of worship, she practically jumped up and lifted her hands in total surrender. Thank God the choice of songs was on point this morning. As she worshipped, she cried, falling in love with God's peace all over again. She had forgotten Mama Kim was sitting next to her until she had someone pulling her hand. My daughter, don't cry. That is life, Mama Kim whispered. Kate could not get this. The audacity to stop and interfere with her worship just to rub the salt on her wound. She slumped on her chair and cried some more, not as a result of the worship, but as a result of the pain she felt. She could not wait for the service to end, to get off the premises. She felt like it took a year for the service to end.